Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spinning Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And this is an episode that just kind of came out of nowhere because I, I wasn't going to do any more episodes until Monday when we start Ultimate Week. And all week we're going to look at the Ultimate Comics, Ultimate Venom, Ultimate Carnage, the Ultimate Spider-Man video game. Uh, and then we're going to look at the War of the Symbiotes. And then on Friday we'll look at uh, the Miles Morales story where he fights uh, a Venom symbiote. Uh, so we're going to get into all that and we'll talk about the Ultimates three clone venom symbiote 2 as well but that's going to be a that's an alternate universe that's going to step us out of the main marvel universe and just get a different take and a dip, different perspective on eddie brock and the costume but before we get into that i do want to make a couple videos real quick uh, just little things movie related that i want to talk about so on this channel pretty much since early on in this uh, in this show i've talked about that this not being you know the venom movie not being a part of the mcu and i see a lot of people as we get more and more followers on here i think there's a lot of people out there that are maybe a little bit younger or a little bit maybe more hopeful and you know, maybe my age but more hopeful that this was going to be set in the mcu universe uh, the, for the marvel movies and it's probably because we've gotten so many back and forth answers. Kevin Feige is like, no, this is not part of it. And then we had Amy Pascal, who came out in an interview right in front of Kevin Feige. He was like, yep, it's all kind of one universe. And uh, and that, that kind of muddied the water. And ever since then, people have been like, you know, all right, well, Amy Pascal said it, so it's got to be, you know, and it's so weird to me because <laughs> most people uh, probably wouldn't hold her words to heart uh, if they probably knew a little bit more about her. Uh, but whatever she said in that interview, she did try to backtrack later and said, hey, well, what I meant is, you know, Marvel, Venom, everyone is part of the same universe and our thing is kind of like it's it's like a drifting continuity it's like on the side or something and she was kind of trying to backtrack it so even then you know she tried but people still now even when someone comes out at marvel and says oh this is not connected you know tom holland will say something that makes people think that it's connected or someone else in mcu will say something and it's hard because i think sony is letting that happen to an extent because they're like hey if it gets people to go see our movie in hopes that it'll be um part of the MCU, then at least gets people in our movie. And I think that's dangerous to do because what, what stems from that and what pro prob you know, probably will be the outcome of that is if they make people think that and they just say, hey, look, if they believe that and they want to have hope that it's part of the MCU, just as long as we get their money to go see the movie. And that's a little dangerous because when they come out of the movie, most people are going to be upset because they're going to be like, it's not connected to MCU. I hate it. And yes, you know, you want to get them in the theater so they give the movie a chance. But there are just some people out there that won't give this movie a chance if it's not part of the MCU. And so we needed straight answers. And so it was nice uh, this week. And unfortunately, not any major sites I have seen covered this yet. We'll probably see more of them come up after the weekend. Uh, but uh, Contact Music was a site that uh, a site I've never heard of that decided to cover this because recently uh, Joe Russo and his brother they went to like a, an event for kids, like teenagers and stuff, at a school I think. And they were uh, people. They just said, "Hey, ask us whatever, and we'll do the best we can to answer these questions." And obviously, everyone had Infinity War questions. Oh my God, is so and so really gone? Is this really happened? Blah blah blah. I don't want to get into Infinity War spoilers. Uh, but they're like, "Is it you know? Did that really happen? Or you know, whatever?" And the Russo's had to answer those questions uh, to probably calm a lot of people down who are younger and probably like, you know, freaking out over what happened in that movie. Uh, so someone though, thankfully, someone in the audience had a Venom question and they came up and they said, hey, is Venom, now that I've seen the trailer, I like it, is it going to be part of the MCU? And Joe Russo, thank you, just came flat out and said, no, it's not part of the MCU. And I know a lot of people out there are going to be heartbroken by that. And some of you still will be in denial and not believe it. Even this article on Contact Music even posted, is this true? Can we trust Joe Russo? And it's like, stop putting that stuff in your article because you're going to leave that doubt in people's head. And they're going to still go to this movie thinking there's an MCU connection. And when they don't get it, some people are going to be upset about that and enough to just hate the movie. And they're not going to give the movie a fair chance because it's not part of the world that they want it to be a part of. And, you know, we... It, early on in the show, I keep saying, temper your expectations, but know what you're going to get into. And I've tried to like tiptoe around that, you know, and, and try to ease some people into the idea that this is not going to be part of the MCU because I didn't want to just come out and be like, hey, I'm sorry to crush anyone's dreams or hopes uh, because, you know, I, I'm a fan myself and I like to have hopes and, and wish for things like this to happen. But for this, I never expected it to be part of the MCU. And I feel like a lot of times when someone speaks out that it is, I'm the one of the only people saying it's not. And I know some of you guys here wrote me on, you know, Instagram and said, hey, I thought I, I thought that was the case. I thought it wasn't connected. And it's like, yeah, I know. But a lot of people, even people who watch the show, believe that it is still connected to the MCU. So Joe Russo came flat out and said, hey, look, 
it's not part of the MCU. As far as I know, it's not part of the MCU. And this is one half of the guys that are the architects of the, you know, the Avengers and Marvel Universe right now in the films, along up there with Kevin Feige. These guys made Winter Soldier, Civil War, and then, you know, uh, Infinity War, and now the next Avengers movie. So they are at the epicenter of knowledge as far as what's probably part of their world and what toys they can play with. And these guys said straight up, no, Venom's not part of it. That is start the start of a new universe with some characters that probably wouldn't normally get a spotlight, like Nightwatch, Silver Sable, Black Hat, probably wouldn't have got the spotlight, uh, you know, without, you know, being attached to Spider-Man. Now they get to shine in their own way in their own movies. And so that's what the Venom universe is. It's, it's potentially a start to something like that and not a part of the MCU. So if you're out there, you know, if you don't, still don't, you know, want to hear these words, that's fine. I'm just trying to Get us all on the same page. That's kind of what I wanted to do with this show is not only inform people and share stories about Venom comics and you know video games and movies and all that stuff and get us ready for the movie, but I also want us to go in knowing what we're getting into so that way we at least are content when we come out of the movie. Whether we're blown away or disappointed, that's on top of also just being content, knowing what we're going to get into without knowing all the spoilers and all the you know, major details of the movie, I will start to try to keep some of that away from you guys the best I can because I want everyone to go in and just give this movie a chance because as I've gotten more into this movie and, and peeked more behind the curtain, I think there is something special here and something that could work. I still don't know if it will work, but I'm, I, like you guys, am hopeful. I'm just not hopeful and was never hopeful that this would be connected to the MCU. And it looks like we got from a really good source that it is not. So if you're out there and you were, you know, hoping this was a cat to the MCU, let me know down in the comments. Does this disappoint you? Is there, uh, you know, are you hoping maybe it's just not connected now? And then later on, if, you know, times change maybe we'll get a connection they can add on later uh, or are you just okay now and you're you're ready to go into this movie just ready to see a venom movie and see an origin story with venom and see something that is not related to spider-man and obviously people have been asking me about the artwork that we showed earlier in my episode before this from the print that came out on free comic day today uh, that didn't have the spider on it and also the ice sculpture didn't have the spider on it I don't know how else they can make it clear in association with Marvel, no spider on this chest, uh, it seems. I don't know how else they can make it clear that this is not going to be related to Spider-Man. And uh, for those of you who think that that still can't happen, that you can't make a Venom movie without Spider-Man, I ask that you at least give me one more video to explain possibly why you can. Uh, because I saw an article out there that says you can do it, but the, the reasons they listed didn't seem very solid to me. So I have some reasons that we've talked about on the show before, but I figured I'll make a quick like five, 10 minute episode about that. So that's what I'll do next. I'll talk about why you can theoretically make a Spider-Man movie without, uh, or Venom movie without Spider-Man and why it, it, you know, it could be a good thing. It still might not be, but it, at least it's worth a try, I think. And, and I will talk about the motivations of the character and why you don't really need Spider-Man to, to tell Venom. Will it be the Venom you know and love? No. But will it be a new take on Venom, which is what they set out to do, you know, from the get-go with this movie? Yes, it will be a different take on Venom, uh, but it won't be the one maybe that web swings around and all that stuff, but it'll be something more of a monster. And they did say that early on that this is going to be more of a monster movie and less of like a superhero kind of movie, although the trailer did look kind of superhero-y. So I hope the next trailer plays up more of the horror angle that they promised. Uh, but again, let me know what you guys think of Joe Russo's comments and uh, if you're on board with that or not. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint too many of you, but again, hopefully it just keeps our expectations tempered so we know exactly what we're getting into when we go see this movie on October 5th. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching my show. See you in the future. Peace.